What's going on guys? Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and I wanted to make this quick video to talk about what the average conversion rate is when using Google AdWords across all industries. You'll be surprised to find out that it's actually a little over 2.5% conversion rate, which is friggin' insane if you ask me. I think that's just wild. So when from if you're watching our videos, all right, you know that you basically know we know AdWords, right? Okay, let's just call a spade a spade. We know what we're talking about, and you can see by the campaigns I've shown you and the optimizations and the statistics that we know what we're doing, okay? So the idea that someone's okay with a campaign converting at 2% is just insane to me. If you look at our campaign here, and this is just a white label agency, it's in a tiny niche, it's not even that big, like roofing or something like that, you know, or plumbing, and we're converting at 38%. So out of 45 clicks that came to our website, 17 of those became leads. Okay. So when I when I in the in the the two and a half percent, I think it was like 2.7 zero percent is the industry across all industries average conversion rate for Google AdWords. All right, and I think that's cited from WordStream, I believe. I believe that's WordStream that has that data. So that's uh. You gotta just toss that idea out the window right away, and you should be. If you're running a search campaign, no matter what industry you're in, you should be shooting for 25%. I've made several videos on this. It's extremely important that your conversion rates are converting at every four clicks that come to your website. We want one of those to become a lead. All right, that should be the goal. Now, whether the lead's a contact form submission or a phone call, it doesn't really matter, as long as it's converting at 25% or at least to over 20%. And majority of the accounts that we look at through audits and such and uh, such like that are usually at like around 10 or 11 percent, so it's not too terrible. But you definitely need to do some conversion rate optimization to bump that up over 20 percent. There's a few different things you can do when um, it comes to improving your conversion rate. The first thing is on the AdWords side of things, you have to make sure that your ad groups, and this is very important, your ad groups are tightly themed. All right, so we want to make sure that. In our white label PPC management ad group, the theme of that ad group is white label PPC management. We want to make sure all of our keywords have to do with white label PPC management. All right, very important. Not that hard to grasp. And then you want to make sure that all of your ads in that ad group have to do with white label PPC management. And it talks about it. All right, so you can see we have management worked in here a few different ways. And that's really important when you're creating your ads in your campaigns and stuff like that is uh, to make sure everything's in sync because that that way you can eliminate the fact that you don't have a conversion problem you have an AdWords problem all right so let's say all of our let's say like all we we've went through our AdWords account we've looked at our search terms and the keywords and we'll do that real quick I'll show you so we want to see search terms to make sure that search terms are the actual terms typed into Google that your keywords triggered that drove clicks to your website. So if your search terms look good and they're relevant to your campaign and they're high intense stuff, then you don't have an AdWords problem, you have a conversion problem. All right. So if you look through here, you can see here for the most part, besides maybe one or two, these are really, really tight keywords. They're exactly what we want, what we want to be going for. All right. So this campaign does not have an uh, AdWords problem. Now, granted, this campaign converts at 38%, so we're above target where we want to be, but let's say it converted at 20%. So that means that we have a problem with conversion, and we have to go and tweak our website or landing page. So that's something that you'll have to you'll have to just go through and cheat. Actually, you know what? I'll make a video on, it, on uh, improving conversion rate through landing page, but... um. That's something you'll have to go through and you'll have to just make adjustments and there's a lot of different factors that go into creating a a um, website that that is uh, designed for conversion I think our let me see if I can find it there it is so this is one of our templates from instapage we use um, instapage is a landing page software and they already have pre-customized templates that you can just cut you can just drop your data in and optimize it and um, just hit go pretty much on on your uh, AdWords campaign. So I'll put a link to Instapage below for a free trial if you want to check that out. And also, so this is the basic layout of a 
25% converting page. Now, don't pay attention to the content. The content's all over the place. It's a, it was a real estate page that I tried to just take real quick and make a, about roofing. You can see here, it's little real estate stuff. But the concept is the same. So I'll walk you through it, actually. We'll just do it in this video. Screw it. All right, so we have our, our number up here, our phone number, where they can click the call if they want to. Now, normally, I would put something above that number, too, or next to it, like call for a free estimate or call for whatever your hook is. I would do that, work that in with the number. Then you have your logo. You have your main headline, call to action. Need your roof. This is a roof repair page then. So need your roof repaired, replacement repairs and more. You're telling them you're, you're addressing the problem. So if we're driving roof repair traffic to this page, right away we're addressing the problem. Need your roof repaired. Well, yeah, obviously I just you know clicked your ad and searching for roof repair contractors. All right, so we know we've identified the need. Then we just kind of lay out what we do, re re uh, replacements, repairs, and more. Then you hit them with your location. So for in Philadelphia, serving all of Philadelphia. So you're telling them, okay, you can solve my problem. My problem is one of these things here, and you're in my location. So right off the bat, we're just like bam, bam, bam. We're hitting them with everything we need to get them to call. And then you know do something like get a free estimate or whatever your hook is. You will put here, name, email, phone number is all you really need for a good lead. You can do a message box or a location, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Then you know just submit or get free estimate, whatever. And obviously I would have a picture of like a roofing, them on a roof or something like that. And then below that I would have, I would not have this by the way, don't have fake pictures and stuff like that. It'll scare people away. What I would actually do here, I would take and paste actual reviews from Google for the company or even better Facebook reviews and paste them all right here. The more, the better. You're just stacking social proof right underneath your form here. All right. So that's really important. Then you'd have your main call to action here about your company, about your services. Then maybe some more social proof down here. So if we're using if we're using Facebook social proof up here, I would then drop some Google social proof right here. Then you have your final call to action. You have give them two options, get in touch or call. All right, and that's that's it. That is the formula for a page that converts at 25% or more. It's not rocket science. I trust me, guys. I, I you know I don't know everything, but I know this design works, all right? Then you just have your stats down here. Make sure you have a privacy policy for Google. They, they like that stuff, so we always want them to like everything. And uh, that's really it. I mean, it's a simple page, one page. We're, so the whole point of this page is we're giving them three options, all right? We're telling them you can either call us, you can submit a form, or you can X out of this page and go back and play on Facebook with your friends. All right, that's it. Those are the only three options you get. The problem is when you send AdWords traffic to a main website or a landing page or a, a main website is you have navigation links up here and they can get lost in content and I call that traffic leakage and they'll just disappear into your website and maybe you come across something they don't like and they're gone. All right. So why why spend the money, pay all this money for a click if we're gonna if we're not gonna just funnel them directly through an actual funnel? You know what I mean? It just makes more sense to do it this way. So. Key to takeaway of this video is the average industry average across all industries is 2.7% conversion rate. Average for us is over 25% conversion rate, and that's where you need to set your goals to be at minimum over 20%. That's what you should be converting at. So remember, there's two the, the thing you have to do, you have to go through your AdWords campaign, make sure you don't have an AdWords issue first. Once you rule out an AdWords issue and you have a you have a conversion issue. Then we come into our website or landing page and we start going through the steps that I just laid out for you here and how to optimize for conversion. Okay? That's it. It's really, it's not, it's not that difficult. All right. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have videos dropping daily now on all kinds of different topics um, about AdWords and stuff like that. Maybe we're going to do some bank too eventually. And check out the links in the description. I put a free optimization guide in there for you to turn around any syncing AdWords campaign. So that's really going to help you out. All right, guys.